Miami, the team that would like not to let the Bills be at home, also started the day atop the uh, AFC East at 9-2. and two. They had a tough task, knocking helmets with the Washington Redskins. Let's go to RFK Stadium, where Don Shula and his defensive coordinator, Tom Alabadati, had the number one defense in football. But they played the Hogs today, and it was a different story, mainly because of this man, Gerald Riggs out, Ernest Biner in. Biner up the middle for 11 very quick yards, so he still shows the quickness. Then Biner darting back and forth up the middle for a touchdown. 21 to 3 Washington at the half before the Dolphins even knew what was going on. Play made famous here by the Washington Redskins. Counter trade, the offside guard, tackle, pull. Biner follows right, right, follows them in the hole. Cuts back, makes about seven yards on the play. Then Ernest Biner with more. 21 up the middle. He keeps going 13. Biner again. This time he's up the middle for a touchdown. And the Skins lead at 35 6 in the third. For Ernest Biner, welcome back big time. 157 yards and three touchdowns. First 100-yard game rushing allowed by the Dolphins this year. Meanwhile, Mark Rippon was reading. Here he sees Gary Clark, member of the posse. Nice catch by Clark, 47 yards, and here it is again. Yeah, that'll work. Rippon, talking about the venerable James Lofton. What about off the Monk? Seven yards. Monk into the end zone for a touchdown. Rippon to Monk again. 10 catches for 92 yards for Art Monk today. And a pair of touchdowns, including this leaper in the back of the end zone. Mark Rippon, 21 of 28 on the day. Three touchdown passes, two for 245 yards. And while we were saying hail to the Redskins, what went wrong with Miami? Well, I think their problems began defensively with poor tackling. Here you see Biner get the ball for his third touchdown. Number 77, Carl Wilson misses him at the line of scrimmage, and that's just something the Dolphins have not been doing this year. Here you see Biner again getting the football. Cliff Odom has a shot at him at the line of scrimmage, but can't bring him down. He goes for the extra five, and then finally Brian Mitchell around the corner with Hugh Green making the miss. They also had a bit of poor pass coverage. Here you see Ricky Sanders running wide open, and you just can't do that when you're playing the pocket. And even everybody got into the scoring column. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, he got a touchdown from Rippon. Today, it was Rippon that made Dan Marino and the Dolphins jealous as the Dolphins fall from first place in the AFC East. They were lambasted uh, by Washington 42 to 20. And frankly, Pete, today, Miami looked overmatched. Well, they were. Physically, they were overmatched. Uh, and it reminds you that while the Dolphins have made great strides this year, they still have only beaten one good team all year. The good news for them is that team was Buffalo. They beat him in Joe Robbie, and they'll have to do it again in Rich Stadium. That'll be a little tougher, but Miami still might sneak in there. Well, they could, but that's December 23rd. Christmas shopping in Buffalo for Miami. That is week 16. The Dolphins have lost to the Giants, as you mentioned, the Raiders and the Skins, all teams with big, tough offensive lines. When we come back, the Steelers and the Bengals atop the AFC Central.